Okay, everyone. We're going to take a look and see what is hindering a connection from coming forward, you know, coming together, being healthy, being successful. This could be a connection that you're currently in or if you're in separation. Let's take a look and see what's the challenge here for the majority of the collective. So this isn't everyone's reading here, but this will be for someone who needs to hear this, okay? For some of you, you need to surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of re recreation and rejuvenation and surrender the drama. So someone needs to lighten up in the connection here. Someone is overthinking too much. Not really investing a lot of energy into just having fun and enjoying their partner. You know, that is very important in a relationship so the fun is being snatched away because someone is overthinking something and and it's creating a lot of drama with surrender the drama you have no matter how emotionally charged the situation remain calm and don't contribute to the drama staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly so i feel like there's one person who needs to lighten up because they're overthinking too much and then there's another person that's trying not to have drama, who's trying to keep the situation calm and balanced and not feed into it. But I feel like that's where the frustration is because it's taking the fun out of the connection when, when two people are on two different pages. Someone here is bringing drama into the connection. Can I get one more for this message here? One more. Yeah, I mean, this is given, even when you have a good time, there is some drama around it. And we're going to take a look at the tarot and see. Okay, so this is dealing with fear as well. Surrender the fear. Let go of the fearful stories you're telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So someone is is like surrounded in fear. And it's causing them to overthink the relationship. It's causing the relationship to not be so fun and exciting because there's drama. And the drama is stemming from someone being afraid or insecure that maybe someone is not, <clears throat> something is um, not right. You know, this is, this is someone who has obviously been hurt before or there's just something here that keeps someone in their head. And it's, it's no fun. Like like I said, it's no fun. Can I get a card for Surrender to Play? Wheel of Fortune. So someone wishes that things could go back to, you know, the way it was or some type of change needs to take place in order for there to be progress. Someone here is going through the ups and downs when it comes to this relationship and that is keeping things a little throw off but the wheel of fortune is continuing to move so i feel like there is hope there is a turning point um, when it comes to this relationship um, tell me more about surrender to play for someone in this situation yeah you have the page of swords the sun card and the eight of swords so someone is constantly observing someone um, to see if there's deception all right someone could be a bit immature in how they communicate as well with the sun card i feel like someone is looking for something um but what's being what's being made clear to them is that they're their own hindrance here with the eight of swords What's being made clear is that someone is keeping themselves um, in isolation or restricted when it comes to this connection. Someone needs to be honest that they are the reason why things are kind of being stuck. Yeah. What's, what's the drama here that someone needs to surrender? I mean, clearly it's being in their head, being emotionally immature. But what else? Yeah, Knight of Swords, rushing, jumping to conclusions is what I'm getting 
with the Knight of Swords, very opinionated, someone who's ready to argue, ready, ready to fight, someone who thrives on change. So this is someone who's waiting for something to change, waiting for an excuse to be able to say, you know, I told you so. This is someone with the Knight of Swords. It's once again, very immature energy, um, ready to ready for battle just to prove a point and then you know because the knight of swords is not going to stick around they're going to rush in for battle and then once they get their point across to say what they need to say or whatever they're out so i'm getting that someone here likes they thrive on conflict is what i'm getting can i get one more for surrender the drama three of cups okay so with with this here this person could have the same issue in the community or with a group of friends or something like that okay i feel like this person may have drama around them when it comes to other people with the three of cups okay making it very challenging to even have fun okay what's the three of cups for surrender the drama ten of wands in reverse yeah, this this is someone who, you know, they may buckle under pressure. They may, um, this is someone who may have a short fuse, get very upset easily. They may try to avoid dealing with the issues when, when things do get hot and heated. I mean, this, like I said, they come in the night of sword. So they come, they say what they got to say, but they're not really sticking around to listen. <laughs> Something like that. What's this ten of wands? the death card yeah this is someone you know what someone needs to change they need to evolve you know but i also feel like if someone can't stop the drama they're gonna cause an ending in this situation why is there fear here four of swords someone needs to heal they need to heal from something from their past they you know really need to stop projecting some energy from their past onto this connection it's really making things worse yeah temperance energy someone needs to heal some someone is still dealing with some old hurt or past from the past or a situation that may have happened between the two of you that someone is needing to um something needs to come into balance here with this with this person or, or with this situation in general in order for there to be any forward movement okay because i feel like things can move forward if someone heals and if someone is not so in their head overthinking something how does this person feel about their partner the overthinker how do they feel the ace of swords see what i'm saying it's like they want the truth they're a bit forceful you got the five of cups with the queen of swords they are in regret despair they're going through some type of disappointment nine of swords they're in their head ten of pentacles probably have some issues that are going on regarding money or family or something like that but they, they're coming off as a queen of swords very bitter harsh with their words wanting to be independent you know basically you know not very loving caring nurturing i'm not getting that in this spread how does their partner feel about them the lovers <laughs> Someone's make, trying to make a choice about this person at this point. Someone's starting to doubt whether they should commit to this or not. What is this? Six of Cups. <laughs> mm. Yeah, someone, someone is, is making their partner feel like, you know, they may have made a different, wrong choice. Maybe they did have a choice from someone of someone from their past and they're starting to look at their choice and go what did i get myself into the fool card like someone is starting to realize that maybe they shouldn't have taken this risk 
and maybe they should take a leap into a new direction possibly towards something here that you know a reconciliation or towards um, something that makes them happy towards harmony and happiness <laughs> is basically what someone else thinking about yeah ace of ace of wands here possibly a new cycle because someone wants change in this situation or they're going to feel they're going to want to you know have a new cycle somewhere else that's that's how someone is feeling here in this this situation okay so if this is your story you don't know, put yourself where you fit but someone here needs to get out of their head and if they can't seem to trust the person that they're with maybe they need to go ahead and um, release it for the time being because someone needs to heal and it's only going to make their partner feel regret for even involving themselves in this connection because someone could be in their head uh, worrying about money or fi family situation look what i said someone's going to be in regret or starting to feel regret about the choice they made and then another person is going to be in regret that they that they lose this person what else here i mean if you know you're going to be in regret you're not going to want this person to walk away why why are you acting like this look decisions it's time to decide about this relationship yeah because if if you can't you're taking the you're sucking the air this is what i'm getting you're sucking the air out of the connection whoever this is is sucking the air out of it the joy the love everything because they're they're giving in to a lot of drama that stems from some fear that either has nothing to do with their partner or it's an issue from their from the past with with these two that someone's not releasing and it's causing this relationship to become more of a burden than anything can i get one more here and the thing is i was pulling up this some a similar energy a few days ago chemistry so the attraction the physical chemistry is there you have chemistry and strictly sexual so what what's happening is the only time that there is joy here is when there's sex because the connection is passionate but not enduring the sexual chemistry is there but at the bottom of the deck is retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge so someone has to go back and recharge their energy because of the drama that is coming towards them you know other than the sex someone doesn't need to dismiss the red flag flags and may need to go ahead and detach with love so they could clearly see you know what you have here because something here um is not going to move forward until someone heals someone i feel is full of drama they like to argue or debate or something what's the revealed intention deck here but when it comes to the sexual chemistry that's there what else tell us about this situation yeah and i feel like because someone is stuck in some type of past memory they're projecting someone is envious and may try to create obstacles to prevent someone from moving forward so maybe <clears throat> the issue is this person doesn't want to let the other person go like i said we're dealing with someone who's a bit who's who's quite uh dramatic here and they may not want to release this person yet they're keeping the cycle of of codependency and arguing and confusion they're keeping that going where's my um i'm gonna go to keeping that going so so yeah this this is given codependency this is given toxic because this person it's stopping someone else from moving forward because of their insecurities. Trash, disregarding, throwing, throwing out. Moving physical location and about to reveal or confess. So some something here has got to change. And it may change only when someone um, 
opens up and confesses how they feel or confesses what's what's really going on here and this may make someone want to go ahead and end this whole connection and disregard it all together okay because uh, give me one more here yeah and see this is somebody who doesn't want to look crazy with threatened someone someone is so worried about whether they're going to be embarrassed or rejected or something but none of that has happened so why are you creating these problems someone could be moving or thinking about changing location maybe to try to you know either come closer to someone or something like that why is trash out here though hmm I'm curious about why trash is out here, but let me get one more here from the situation deck. What's this? Yeah, reminiscing. So someone feel dis disregarded and thrown away by someone else from their past. Maybe someone who they maybe at one point shared something with a home or something. This person may have moved, relocated or whatever. So this person is very threatening, very guarded against someone who has nothing to do with it for some of you. And then I saw at the bottom of the deck, must have an obsession. So I feel like this person will sit there and cause this drama, but they don't want you to go anywhere. Oh, Lord. If I'm talking to you, if this is your story, if this is your story, they don't want the other person to go anywhere. So they want you to just in, endure the abuse, interview, talk, conversation, get on the page. The same page this is what needs to happen i feel like someone is going to re reveal or confess their feelings maybe they'll express why they are the way they are what happened to them in the past maybe they someone made them look like a fool and they're trying to avoid not ever feeling that again but i feel like a conversation where you get on the same page will help this connection an intervention even intervention rescue and others involved there could be other people involved in this situation and it's affecting this relationship a ten of pentacles is out here it could be family members that you know are getting in this person's head or someone close to the family as well that could be getting in this person's business or relationship you have meeting two or more people discussing and planning there's multiple people involved in a in the decisions of someone when it comes to a relationship okay now it was coming out in reverse so i feel like this person either needs to stop communicating with someone who may be influencing them regarding this connection or they yeah karmic third party relationship there's a karmic in the middle of this situation for some of you and it's causing I'm hearing that they're still in communication with the karmic. And that's the interference in the relationship because they are projecting that negative energy. Maybe something that they have with the karmic and they're bringing it into this connection. You know, and this is what I'm saying. Like sometimes people get into new relationships and a person never has a fair chance because they're still connected to something else and they're bringing that energy in but they're saying that they want a new beginning you can't possibly want to be in a new relationship if you haven't disconnected from something here and it's and it's causing um it's causing issues for some of you where this is a new connection for some of you this is not a new connection maybe you've been trying to work through your issues with this person but they're still attached to a karmic situation. And then this person, see, journal is coming out here keeping notes. It makes me feel like someone is in communication with someone. And it's like they're keeping notes on what, on, on this relationship. Maybe this person is telling them things or they're keeping track of what's going on with the relationship. You have insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. I feel like there are people just all up in your business. I also feel at the bottom of the deck, someone is, is bi binding themselves up. 
into a situation because it's like they they don't want the person to go anywhere but no one's gonna stick around and deal with um and deal with this you know it's it's giving me obsessive energy very codependent it's giving me codependency i i don't want you but i don't want you to leave kind of thing tell me more about this third party situation i mean i well it says third party relationship and lesson are they still in contact with the karmic that's influencing what is this that fell on the floor the high priest something secret something something's a feeling here six of wands something in the public or something so okay so with the high priest and the six of wands there's something behind closed doors there's something that's secret something that is not being seen in the public i mean the, the six of wands is public but then the high priest it can also involve like a secret the shadow side mm -hmm. yeah hit one more here death card So yeah, I feel like for wands, this could be someone who's still in communication with someone who they had some type of foundation with, two of cups. And I feel like this person brings out another side of them that someone doesn't see. Yeah, ten of ten of swords. So there was a painful ending here. And I feel like this person has not released that. And if there is still in communication with this person or dealing with this person in some way, um, I feel like it's causing issues, the shadow side. There's something here that this person's connection with this third party, karmic, tends to seep over into the next connection. There's the, there's the queen of wands energy here. Five of Wands coming out. Conflict, arguing, trying to avoid. So, so, yeah, somebody's always trying to avoid it. But it's almost like because they have invited other energies into this situation, um, gossiping, talking, or whatever this is, it's almost like someone needs to leave something from the past behind. Three of Wands. If, you, if, if they're going to truly... Um, have an opportunity for a new beginning and they really want to move forward in this connection they have got to leave it behind and they have got to stop going back peeping over there to see what's going on with someone else if they want to be over there then they need to go over there okay because it's causing problems in the connection that they are trying to have with someone else what's going to happen with the death card being out here twice someone is going to leave their behind right where they are whoever they are seven of pentacles in reverse making a decision to not you know not seeing any future not seeing any long term with this person and withdrawing an offer because no one wants to continue to argue look there's the eight of cups behind the eight of cups was the king of pentacles someone someone here can't help but dwell on a past situation that maybe they walked away from or maybe they're still thinking about going towards. Maybe someone's stuck in a time where they had more stability with someone or found it. Whatever it is. Because we already saw the five of cups out here. So I feel like someone could be crying over spilled milk. And, you know, it's time for a decision to be made as to whether, whether there can honestly be a real connection or not and i don't see it until someone's healed because someone's fear has them sitting there needing to be healed you got the king of cups the knight of wands with the six of swords someone here is you know they're in their feelings you know there's love there but they are in a knight of wand energy as well very very uh unstable you know the knight of wands is prepared for battle but they're not going to stick around 
like I said, whoever this is is already in the energy of they like to kind of argue and everything. But I feel like this can also be someone who comes in, argues, and they look for a reason to go somewhere else where they could be comforted or something. Six of Swords. Because the Six of Swords is coming out after the Knight of Wands. This is someone rushing in with a lot of passion or whatever. And then moving on to Karma Water somewhere else. So there's something going on with that here. And someone needs to pay attention to the patterns that someone has. Because someone is creating this drama and all of that. Because maybe their conscience is not clear. Let me pull from this romance angel deck and move on from here. Look, release your ex. Getting to know each other. Someone hasn't released someone from their past. And that's why they're having you're having a hard time really getting to know each other. And your bond is not deepening until this there is a release of a karmic lesson or a third party that is in their ear or something like that. I want to know what's the outcome. Because I want to know if this person is willing to change. Whoever this is. If it could be you that need to release someone from your past so that you can give someone a fair chance. As long as you're still holding on to something from your past. There is no, look, past life relationship. And what else? Stay optimistic about your love life. You're not optimistic if you're still entertaining something from your past and you're afraid to move into something new. Will the situation change? Will this person release this ex and focus on this new connection? Will they release this ex? They're going to make a choice to end it somewhere. Lovers with the world card. They're going to complete this cycle. Okay. They're going to close it out. For some of you, that's where you are right now. You may not know that this is what happened. That this person is releasing the ex. For some of you, it hasn't happened yet. But they are going to be releasing someone. To focus on the Ace of Cups. They know they have an opportunity towards a new beginning. This person here. This is why I feel like someone doesn't want to release. They don't want to let someone go. They're very attached. They're very emotionally um, into it. But they, they haven't showed it. And I feel like they're going to release someone. Or it may, maybe more than one person. And I feel like they're going to eventually give in to the connection. All right? Justice. And this will be justice. Things will be balanced out in this connection. Things will be balanced out. Okay? For those of you who this resonates with you and you're waiting patiently, you know, it's up to you to wait around. Some of you it's your story. Some of you it's not. But five of pentacles in reverse. You have been, you know, depleted of a lot. You've been deprived of a lot when it comes to this person. But the temperance card is out here. Healing is going to take place. This person has to heal. Okay. And then you'll be able to see, to really see who this person is when it comes to you. Okay. So I'm going to leave this reading here. Ace of Swords is the truth. I'm going to leave this reading here for those of you who know that this is your story um, and you may start to see changes with this person because they are releasing something from their past. It does not happen overnight. For the, some of you, this is um, this is an old love here. You've been dealing with this person for a while. It's truly it's up to everyone. Everyone has free will as to whether they want to deal with this or not. Some of you are going to choose to let it go. Others of you sticking it out, you're going to see this person really work through their fears and try to and give this connection a fair chance. Um, whether you know about a, a karmic around or not, this person has been battling with something from their past, okay? <clears throat> and I'm hearing something 
more than that because for some of you yes it is a person for others of you it is a way of living it's a way of thinking that they're struggling with and they have to release that in order for them to ever have a healthy connection with you or anyone else so thank you guys so much for the love and support that you bring to me to my channel i do have a website um, on my profile page, it, 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 I have not made it a www site yet, but I will. Um, but you can go on there and you can book your readings now. I will be adding more things. You can even get a gift card, uh, like a e gift card for someone who you would like to pay for a reading for. There are different things that I am adding to that website. So feel free to visit. It's on my profile page. You can just click the link. Thank you so much for your time, for your support. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one.